Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley Niedek and today we're going to be doing a beautiful kinky straight lace wig install. So this one does come courtesy of AF Sister Wig. They sent over this beautiful kinky straight lace wig and I kind of did three styles in one. So you'll see the wig straight out of the box. I did go ahead and wash it before we start the install process. For sanitary purposes, also I just feel like a wig always hits better when you wash and condition it beforehand the install process was super simple and easy and you'll see it's going to be very step by step and beginner friendly you'll see it as a center part which this one definitely has a beautiful center part a deep center part the lace is free lace so you can part it literally from ear to ear so you see me do kind of like a semi deep side part with this so i can show that off a little bit um this one is beautiful swiss lace so you'll see how gorgeous um it's going to come out I have all the details in the description box and you'll find out like all the specs on this one and then you guys can see lastly we just did a half up half down I'm definitely loving this one and I love the baby hair on it the baby hair is not your jam in this case I can just go ahead tomorrow and just use a little bit of mousse to send the baby hair back it'll blend right with the rest of the hair and we can do another baby hair look tomorrow but you guys know that's my tea and my vibe I love a good baby hair moment so we're gonna rock with it but if you are interested in seeing the tutorial the install the style process and all the different situations we did keep on watching jumping right into it this is the wig straight out of the box yes we are going kinky straight and I believe personally that AF sister wig has some of the best kinky straight hair on the market this is a look at the inside construction of the cap one of the best features of this one is that you have a full 3d lace and it's swiss lace wig and the cap construction is a 13 by 6 i'll share all the details in that in just a moment but this is what the wig looks like on they did also include the ingestible strap in the inside it's a bra strap style and i love that for me adjusting the wig and now here is what the wig looks like from the back as you guys can see she's nice and full she's nice and long the hair is definitely healthy i did go ahead and wash and condition this one off camera i did also allow it to air dry on a wig head for a few hours and here i am taking that adjustable um strap out you can definitely keep that in for extra comfort i just don't feel the need to have it this is a look at the hairline i'm gonna go ahead and start the customization process by just making sure i frame the face aka i'm gonna go ahead and cut all the excess lace around the ear so i just literally part with the comb out all the area we do not need pull the remainder of the hair back cutting literally around the ear using my ear as a guide i'm going to do the same exact thing on the opposite side just sectioning out the area that is below the ear cutting off any excess and voila we are done with the step now this is what it looks like and as you guys can see the hairline is absolutely beautiful it's pre-plucked to perfection and we are definitely going to have a good time with this one so i also wanted to show you guys this one as a center part as i did mention this is a 13 by 6 but it is a full 13 by 6 lace wig typically you only get two inches of parting space on the side for most hair suppliers with AF sister wig you can part it literally six inches back from ear to ear so that is definitely a win-win for us and the icing on the cake is that it's Swiss lace which is literally my favorite lace to wear it literally can do no wrong so I went ahead and cut off all the excess lace now I'm gonna go back to it oldie but goodie which is the gel adhesive this is actually a styling product from got to be glue it's the black got to be glue gel and I apply a generous layer along the entire perimeter of the hairline kind of let that get tacky and then I'll do a second coat if you are an OG and this is me applying that second coat if you are an OG then you remember um back in the day I think this was one of the first like adhesives that I became obsessed with and I was literally using this like every tutorial for maybe like easily a year straight I still love this one we just have you know come so far with you know all of the new things and so I love to go back it's kind of a nostalgic to do so now I'm just working the product in and letting it marry the lace I did go ahead and add a melt belt so that it can dry without using a blow dryer thought I was recording but this clip when I actually put the wig band on um got cut and this wig band is from bdecbeauty.com now i'm gonna go in and blow dry the hair um i as i mentioned wash and condition the hair the cap was still a little bit damp so i went ahead and just blow dried it i also feel like a fresh blow out on any texture definitely gives it a more smooth look now i'm gonna pull the hair out
out of my face so we can work on the hairline even more that was one of the things that i did not miss about the black got to be glue gel i like to give you guys the highs and lows and tell you the truth as much as i can when i do these tutorials so you'll know what to expect if i would have used my even i would not have ran into this issue but maybe because i haven't used this product in so long i definitely used too much or i didn't let it get tacky enough so letting it air dry with the melt belt it kind of just was way too much the great thing i was able to use some mousse and i was able to like send all the hair back and kind of lift up all that mess that it made without actually lifting the actual lace off my head if that makes any sense and i kind of just pulled all the baby hair back got a fresh start then pulled it back for what i needed cut it really short so that i could have like the baby hair of my dreams and then we're going to use the edge control from bdeckbeauty.com and i'm just going in and playing with the baby hair and getting it as short as i like it really not wanting the hair to go in one uniform direction or to be uniform at all for that matter and excuse me for looking away i was filming a tiktok so make sure you follow me i am the ashley b deck or the ashley b deck on tiktok um and yeah follow me there i like to do some kind of behind the scenes clips from my hair tutorials over there so make sure you're following and supporting so that i can just have the motivation to really turn up a notch over there and i'm finishing it off with sideburns originally i had pulled some forward and i was going to do actual sideburns and it just it just didn't give it just didn't match but i also didn't want it to just be like baby hair along the center and it cut off so i kind of just made some swoops on the side so that it just kind of matched and blend from ear to ear now we're going in with a dynamic duo at this part i wasn't quite sure what style i was going for but i knew the hairline had to be on point so i just added a generous amount of that wax along the entire hairline and i paired it with the electric hot comb to really go in and just press it out so that no matter what hairstyle we do the hairline is lit now i'm going to set that off by adding the maybelline fit me foundation along the entire perimeter of the hairline this is going to make sure the lace blends are melt with my complexion and it absolutely did its job now let's work on the length of the hair do we want a center part a side part a half up half down bun i really wasn't quite sure which one would look best on me on this particular day so i ended up doing all three we're gonna start with the center part and of course the center part is like classic and literally the easiest style on the planet here i'm showing you i was trying to do like two pigtails again i just really was clueless as to what my style was so i just opted for old faithful the center part and i repeated the dynamic duo steps along the center it got really smooth and really flat really easy and definitely because the hair is great quality and also i add the bonus of just washing your hair and conditioning it everything will move and just be tamed and just the hair will just listen so much better when you wash and condition this is a before and after of what it looks like to press out the um parting versus not be sure to check out the description box there you'll find lists and links of everything we use to complete this look you'll also find like all the details on this wig if i haven't mentioned now to set it up i'm just going to add a little bit of i think this was concealer i definitely used the wrong brush and so it kind of looked a little bit messy but i just blended it out and we were good to go here i wanted to give you a very detailed look at the actual lace so i just took a piece that i cut off from my head and i wanted to show you guys how well it blends with my skin i did use a little bit of my adhesive and just worked it into the back of my wrist and you guys can see it literally disappears it's the exact same color the texture is soft because it is swiss lace and it just melted so definitely 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 one of the best lace on the market here i am with the second style i did opt for a side part and i just repeated the steps i just added a little bit of concealer along the parting blended that out make sure that the hair was straight and smooth the blow out was pretty much all we needed but i just wanted to do a heat test and you know see what happens if you straighten it it honestly didn't make a huge difference you can just blow dry and you'll be good to go but it also will look a little bit more polished when you straighten your hair with the flat iron it'll give more of a silky finish but this was the hair as a side part i didn't love the side part as much it would have looked better more curved but you know it still works now i'm pulling all of the hair back and we are going for a half up half down so i was deciding do i want to half up half down like up top or sitting like on top of my head as far as the ponytail goes or do i want it to be a bun up top or do i want to pull it a little bit further back so that it's not like on top and this is my favorite way to do a half up half down and you can't do a half up half down without adding a little piece of the hair 
to wrap around the scrunchie. This is going to give it a chic look. And of course, make sure you're subscribed because this is the end of the styling process. Okay, love bugs. So we kept it kind of simple and cute for the final result. So you guys seen this one as a center part, a side part, and now as a half up, half down. I already told you guys this one came from AF Sister Wig. I tried to show you guys that this one does come with a beautiful like navy bow over it and then it opens like a drawer and of course they have their logo here inside the box you do have your edge brush pack of wig caps hair clip dolphin clip you have an adjustable strap which was already inside the wig i made a decision to take it out because i prefer um to not have that in there and then a mini pack of hair clips or bobby pins rather um the hair is nice and full and healthy it really didn't give me any complaints the lace is amazing and you guys seen i don't know if i showed you already but if i didn't i'll insert the clip of the lace on my skin and you'll see how beautifully it melts this one is absolutely amazing chef's kiss 10 out of 10 i highly recommend so be sure to check it out in the description box. I have it there as well as links and a list of everything we use to complete this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.